And indeed, let's wish every one of the 30 players on duty this afternoon the very best of luck. The culmination of a career in football. Everyone wants to play in a Croke Park final. Everyone wants to see a Croke Park final. And every available space taken up as the Artain Boys band come down here in front of the Hogan stand. Back lane from Florence in County Limerick sets this centenary championship final underway. And it's Teddy McCarthy bursting downfield. Broken up, however, Brian Stafford, who was left unmarked as he went roaming out the field. Trying to take it past Shea Fai, trying to make it inside with PJ Gillick. Hasn't scored the championship so far, he has now. So this is an even better view of the angle he faces. with that long ball, this time to Brian Stafford. Back to Colm O'Rourke, steadying himself. Good shot, nice point. That's a bit more like it, and it's exactly what the game has required. Nice ball to the man who's his clubmate down, Castlehaven, Niall Cahalan. Meets slow to get back. Cahalan a bit ambitious, but the ambition pays off. Breaks down to Conor Cunahan, the court captain, pushed. No free, says the referee, John O'Driscoll. And totally in the clear is John Cleary. Nobody marking him, there is now. But he still is there and the momentum carries him forward. And he's got his shooting boots as well. And that's an unerring finish. A pass intended for Tony Nation, cut out by David Beggy. Forward to Colm O'Rourke. Once again he's through. Once again it's dangerous, Bernard Flynn, again saved by the goalkeeper, but this time is in, it's a goal by Colm O'Rourke. And this is how it happened, he set it up himself. Watch as he stole inside the defence, first of all to link up with Bernard Flynn, that was saved by the goalkeeper, but Colm O'Rourke was waiting and he fisted it into the empty net despite the best efforts of Dennis Walsh. Having drifted away from the full forward line, in towards Brian Stafford, it breaks down towards PJ Gillick. Brian Stafford again, scorer of a point earlier in the match. Lovely balance, right after the save. And he's the ball in front for the second time. Teddy McCarthy, the free taker, playing in his ninth championship match in 15 weeks this afternoon. Big Lions left it go, but got it the second time as the referee signals for half time. And a warm round of applause around Croke Park for two very game teams. Meath in front by a point, it's Meath 1 6. Cork, 8 points. Lane gets the second half underway. Liam Harnan, one of two players booked in the first half. Bernard Flint didn't score at all in the opening 35 minutes. A sure thorn, I'm sure, in that uh, court defence. Bouncing this one into the breeze. It's still no difficult to him. He's an absolute master striker. Good open space in front of him, that's Brian Stafford. Bernard Flynn, here's a chance for another score. And he's going this for that kind of opportunity. Bernard Flynn to take it down confidently. Now they're showing a bit of authority in their play, Me So determined to win. Stafford, the chip, and there are now six points between the sides. And Meath men in support, Meath men with time to look up front place their passes accurately, a sign of a team going somewhere. This Meath team are going to victory as Stafford chips and Stafford scores. And it's Teddy McCarthy who takes it forward, but there are eight points between the teams. Three and a half minutes remaining. Tompkins here, wants to finish with a flourish. And that's just Cork's second point of this second half. Half a minute of injury time played, but it's really only a matter of time. There it is! Yes, we have won the All Ireland final. They showed in the second half. They've won their fourth football title here at Croke Park. The first since 1967, beating Cork in the final by one goal and 14 points to 11 points. The triumph for Mick Lyons and for me, the culmination of a great year in football for them. So the teams parade behind their captains, Graham Geraghty of me and Philip Clifford from Bantry Blues. The canal end still taking shape, a wonderful atmosphere here at Croke Park.
a match which has been viewed all over the globe. Those switches are the same as the Mead have made in every game. Evan Kelly out to right half forward, Ali Murphy switching corners, Donald Curtis at left corner, he'll come out the pitch, Nigel Nesser at left half forward. So the start of the 112th All-Ireland football final, and Meath going into their first attack. Scored a total of 210, or 110 rather, in the two All-Ireland finals back in 1996, looking for the first of the day, and that's a beautifully struck kick. And that's over the bar. And the mistake may be uh, punished by Cork. John McDermott was sliding in. Ponzi Amani is there as well. Comes back out once again. Joe Cavanagh down towards Marco Sullivan. O'Sullivan getting away this time from Mark O'Reilly. And this time his kick is a good one. And Marco Sullivan has put the ball over the bar. Very clever player always tries to pick out somebody. It's a huge ball inside there towards Graham Garrity, broken down towards Ollie Murphy. And Ollie Murphy scores! It's a goal for Meath. 25 minutes are gone. Brilliant opportunism by Meath. It's 1-3 to two points. To John McDermott once again. Beats the attempted block. Pressure on the court backs once more, Evan Kelly takes it delightfully, and that's kicked over the ball, that's a great point. Evan Kelly with his second point of this final. Trying to open up the Mead defence, Philip Clifford trying to get a touch on it, Miholo Cronin, UCC man, Neva Vaughan as well, nicely in for Ponzi Amani, caught lift for a response here, and Ponzi Amani has put it over the bar. To Paddy, Paddy Reynolds once again. Nicely forward for Donald Curtis. Rona McCarthy trying to dispossess a beautiful ball to Evan Kelly. What a match he's playing, what a kick. Three kicks at the target, three points by Evan Kelly. And at half-time, here at Croke Park in the 1999 All-Ireland Football Final, it's Meath 1-5, Cork 5 points. Back to Giles once more. This time a good run by Donald Curtis. Hoping to pop it over the bar, but it's Graham Garrity who takes it instead, and he goes down, and it's a penalty! A penalty for me than the very first minute of the second half. It's Trevor Giles to kick it. Kevin O'Dwyer in goal. He saved it! A save by Kevin O'Dwyer. Two points between the teams. Lots of dummies being sold, it's still Cabana. Having assistance and support there, Ponzi Omani back to Joe Cavanaugh once again. Joe Cavanaugh with a goal, chance, it's a goal for Cork! Four minutes into the second half, Cork lead for the very first time in the All-Ireland final. Out to Ronan McCarthy. Fionn Murray not in the match just yet, he's on the sideline waiting. Waiting for possession is Graham Geraghty, looking for the score here, Graham hits it. But he's hit it uh, over the bar, yes! He got it right. The umpires had a look at one another. McManus in over the head of Kieran O'Sullivan. Missed by Ollie Murphy, but not so by Graham Geraghty. They almost get him on another's way. Graham Geraghty scored an almost impossible point a little earlier in the game. And this time he hits it again. And this time he replicates the action. Same result. And a second for Graham Geraghty. That's once again won by Trevor Giles. A clever ball into Graham Geraghty, takes up a good position, gets out ahead of his man, and then he kicks it, and he kicks it over the bar. Graham Geraghty's third. Three shots on target, three points by the Meath captain, and I think they've got the scent of victory in their nostrils. A Donovan kicking past Joe Cavada. Darren Fay holding on to it right at the end line. Corker appealingly stepped out over the end line. Still appealing, and it's all over, and Meath are the All-Ireland Football Champions for 1999. The Meath fans really savouring the moment. So Joe McDonough, GA President, presents Sam Maguire to Graham Geraghty, and Meath are the Football Champions. But Sam goes down the road to the Royal County.